welcome to the session in categories of defects at the end of this session students will be able to explain the significance of various types of defects let us start with the introductory part software defects may be categorized under different criterias and the categories of defects must be defined in the test plan software defects is some kind of error flaw or uh, some kind of mistakes from the development team which prevent the software from the smooth working so it should uh, directly affect software quality software quality is something how smooth and reliable your software is so here the definition may differ from organization to organization project to project and customer to customer defect probability is a parameter that defines the possibility of the issue to occur and to be detected by the end user now on the basis of requirement and design specification here variance from product specification as uh, documented in requirement specifications or design specifications represents specification related defects many times the project designers don't get a clear idea about each specific module and they simply assume some requirements in the design phase so none of the requirement should be based on assumption requirement should be complete covering each and every aspect of the system under development and variance from user customer expectations as business analyst or you can say a system analyst is not able to identify customer needs correctly so these variances may be in the form of implied requirements so here to check the completeness of the requirements divide the requirements into three sections like must implement then uh, here that is uh, requirements that are not specified but are assumed and third type is like ima uh, imaginations so there are the types of uh, requirements we need to just make it divide for every requirement check if all types of requirements are addressed before the software design phase so these defects are responsible for producers gap now regarding the types of defects wrongly implemented specifications are related to the specifications as understood by developers differing significantly from what the customer wants they may be termed misinterpretation of specifications missing specifications are the specifications that are present in requirement statements but are uh, uh, not available in the final product so you please uh, underline a uh, few of the lines here that is see few, uh, missing specifications are what the specification that are present in the requirement statement but are not available in your final product so the requirements are missed as there is no requirement tracing through product development features not supported by specifications but present in the product represents something extra so again you please underline this particular line that is features not supported by specifications but present in the product okay so this is what something extra this is something added by developers through these features are not supported by specifications so this one also we will consider though it is extra part but we will consider this is again a type of defect okay here you have uh, a question software defect is some kind of error from the dash dash which prevents the software from the smooth working and you have the following four options choose the correct one your answer is software defect is some kind of error 
that is from the development team okay uh, which prevents the software for not from the smooth working now under the types of defects see, see next point that is root cause of defects wrong requirements given by user or customer can be a basic cause of defects so this is what the very highlighted point and this is due to the inability of the customer to put the requirements in words or specific uh, specifying requirements which are not required right and business analyst or you can say system analyst interprets uh, customer needs wrongly can be another major cause of defects this is due to the uh, inability of business analyst or system analyst to elicit your requirements right next point like here we can add system design architect again does not understand requirements correctly and hence the architecture is wrong so this may be due to communication gap or again we can say inability of the architecture in understanding the requirements so these are few uh, root causes of again uh, writing the defects or finding uh, the defects in our product then we can add the next points like incorrect program specifications guidelines and standards are used by respective people if the organization processes are not capable then defects are introduced in the product so produced and errors in coding represents lack of developer skills in understanding design and implementing it correctly okay we can continue that the next point here we can add data entry error caused by the users while using a product this can be possible when users are not protected adequately and this indicates design problem okay then errors in testing false call failure to detect an existing defects in the product and the first part introduce defects in a correct product while the second part allows defects to go to the customer and mistake in error corrections where defect is introduced while correcting some identifying uh, identified defects also right now here are some of the buzzwords which we are uh, looking okay uh, which are always used in our software industries they are like mistake error defects in software the problems with software work product may be put under different categories on the basis of who has found it so if you are looking regarding the mistake an issue identified while reviewing own document very low cost mistake problem and can be fixed immediately a requirement of the customer that was not fulfilled so this is variance from the specifications an indication that a specification was not implemented or a requirements of the customer was noted correctly okay so mistake is what where we are looking that is what the issue which is uh, recognized while reviewing some of the documents or we can say some of the things were not noted properly right now the next point that is regarding error an issue identified internally or unit testing may be termed error so slightly more cost to finding an error and need some time for fixing an error is a mistake or you can say misconception or misunderstanding on the part of the software developer in the category of the developer we include software engineers programmers analysts and testers this is part of or we can say the definition regarding error 
where the error is always generated uh, uh, at the time of development okay so this particular issue identified while performing the testing part okay <coughs> now the next term is defect an issue identified in black box testing which is most costly and need longer time for fixing the defect it can be simply defined as a variance between expected and actual and the defect is an error found after the application goes into the production okay so these are my references thank you